Consumer 10 tonight at 530 an extreme danger hidden in plain sight. Thousands of cars are still on Ohio roads with deadly airbag inflators. This is years after the initial recalls took place. Now these Takata airbags are part of one of the largest recalls in U.S. history. Tonight we're looking at what you need to know about what's in your steering wheel before you get behind it. Thanks for staying with us for 10 TV News at 530. I'm Angela Ann. And I'm Yolanda Harris. Tonight, Consumer Tins Clay Gordon looks into this report about what's on our roads and tells us how a fix is easier now than ever. Searching for a disguised danger, teams are watching Ohio roads to track down recalled vehicles. Extremely important to get them replaced right away. In 2014, the largest recall in history was issued by the National Highway Transportation Administration. It's probably the most complex consumer safety recall in U.S. history. 40 million cars across 19 automakers all to replace Takata airbags. And we're a little alarmed, honestly, to discover that six and a half million cars still need these airbags replaced. And now Carfax reports millions of vehicles are still driving with defective airbags. More than 200,000 in Ohio and almost 60,000 in the Columbus area. Potentially deadly devices still on Ohio roadways. These airbags though, when they're exposed to heat and humidity over a long period of time, uh, can develop moisture inside those chemicals. That creates an explosion that far exceeds what the expectations are. And that can turn the metal ring around the uh, airbag into shrapnel, literally flying pieces of metal that can enter the cabin of a car. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said a 28th person was killed in 2018 in Alabama in a Honda. The death was confirmed last month. After countless recalls, these faulty airbags are still being found on Ohio roadways. In fact, a street canvassing team found this one here in central Ohio. Ford and Mazda issuing expanded recalls this summer, warning not to drive certain models. Valley Ford of Columbus allowed us inside to look at the difference between the new ones and the recalled inflators. Have you guys seen an uptick in people coming in? Not yet, and we're trying to do more because it, we've been, we've been as the dealer in Ford has been proactively searching for these vehicles. Shop says they're teaming up with Ford to track recalled vehicles and can replace a faulty inflator airbag with these new ones at your home in your driveway using this mobile service unit for free. Safety is foremost. So everyone that's driving on the roads, and it's just not for the person driving that vehicle, but it's everyone else that could be affected by it. A free fix to keep your family safe behind the wheel. For Consumer 10, I'm Clay Gordon. Clay, thank you for that report. Now to check the vehicles impacted by these faulty airbags and to find your vehicle identification number or that VIN, find this story right now on the Consumer 10 tab on 10TV.com.